Over 80% of the world's countries already eat insects as a common food ingredient. That's over 2 billion people every day eating bugs. And it's mostly Westerners that don't, so are we the odd ones out? Is this the food of the future? There will be around 9 billion people living on Earth by 2050, and food production will need to step up its game in order to compensate. Livestock production is currently responsible for 11 to 17% of greenhouse gas emissions. Scaling this up to compensate for all those extra people as the climate crisis unfolds wouldn't be the best thing to do. Insects, like crickets, require far fewer resources to grow and produce, so it's understandably a sustainable step the food industry might consider. Around the world, crickets, caterpillars, beetles are most common when it comes to entomophagy, or eating insects, because these things are packed with protein. Believe it or not, crickets actually contain more protein per 100 gram than beef. But why would we eat insects, right? It's actually more than likely though that you've already eaten insects, accidentally, on your store-bought salad leaves, or canned vegetables, or even from your sweets. So we at Eiffel Science took an extra step and actually deliberately tried them. We visited Yumbug, London's insect-based restaurant, for a taste test. Well, what we generally see with the UK public, as you've suggested, is that some people are a bit squeamish around seeing the whole insects in food, simply because they aren't used to it. So what we're trying to do is reformat the insects into something that they recognise, something that they recognise as food, so whether that be chunks, mints, burgers, koftas, you name it, basically a meat source that they can understand, but still utilising that sustainable, healthy cricket, just reformatting it into something that they can cook with and they can try and get accustomed to. When it comes to nutrition, crickets contain more iron than spinach, more fibre than brown rice, more calcium than milk, and more vitamin B12 than red meat. They are really nutrient dense. When they're fresh, there's the amounts vary a little bit, but it really depends on how they're processed, what they're fed, what kinds of insects you're using. So there are like 2,000 edible insect species and all of them have varying amounts of nutrition in them. Um, so if you start adopting insects into your lifestyle, you actually have this huge range of potential nutrient sources that are incredibly dense and you can play with, um, that's whether or not it's mealworms, chapelinas, crickets, locusts, etc. Oh, so how is it so good? It is incredibly important that we focus on new sustainable protein. I, I'm sure you've heard about the climate crisis. Protein is a massive part of, of our food production and we know for a fact that things like beef, pork, chicken, for example, can't be sustained on a large scale. We need to find new sources and I think insects are one of the best ways of doing that. I'm not saying they're gonna be the only thing that's gonna be in our future diet. I think the lab bread meat has a place. I think the plant based alternatives have a place, but I think that insects can be a big player. I think it's really important that people take insects seriously um, as a new protein source, not only because it's sustainable, but also because they are also nutritious and we don't have to process them anywhere near as much as some of these other alternatives. When food looks and tastes this good, it doesn't really take a lot of bravery to try it. Nobody expects the livestock industry to ever truly cease. It's more that eating insects could provide a tasty alternative to some of your regular everyday meals. It's an extra choice, with the added benefit of helping to reduce the food industry's carbon footprint with a tasty, sustainable alternative.